Hey, pleasant and good day, everybody. This is going to be a video on the Angels rising up with Artie Marino and, of course, Perry Manansion out there in the Los Angeles area in Anaheim as they get Noah Syndergaard as well as, of course, a very good Aaron Loop who's been consistent his entire career. Now add a guy that can also play some center field and hit for you if you want him to. And Michael Lorenzen, who's a solid, steady relief pitcher, we're not doing that. So this is what that video is going to be about. If you enjoy the content overall and have not already, I really appreciate the 163 that have. And all of you for watching this video, please consider subscribing on the easy-to-use subscribe button down below or on the easy-to-use widget at the end. But let's first get into it with Thor, who of course had his best season in 16 with the Mets, going 14-9 and with a 260 ERA, a FIP of 229, and a home runs per nine of .5. Um, having a Cy Young 8th place finish and an MVP 19th place finish, so to be in the top 20 in both and the top 10 in one, that's pretty damn good. And they were able to pan it out. The Angels took a chance on a guy last year, Alex Cobb, who wouldn't be a bad idea to try to keep him around for another one-year, two-year deal or whatever with how he emerged back with a 3-7-6, 8-3 record and 18 starts for them last year. And now have a guy with much more upside and potential, still only at 28 years old, had a 9 ERA last season, but that was in two starts coming back after not pitching for over a full calendar year, so you can't go off of that. Um, the last time he was able to pitch a good handful of games, he had a 4-2-8, but the season prior to that, he had two complete games and a one shutout with a 3-0-3. So, Zindigor's a guy that has very good upside. He's just coming off of, obviously, major injuries. Only pitched two games last year. Now it's about what is he going to be able to do implemented into the Angels rotation. That's a great guy to take a chance on for one season. They did it panned out on Alex Cobb last year. You have much more upside with Syndergaard. Thor to be a guy that is very good in your top three level guy. Where obviously Alex Cobb, when you got him, you expect him to pitch more like a three through five. That's what you're hoping you get at least from Thor coming in. But he has the potential, if he really hits it again, to be a two or a one level with the performance he gives no matter where he actually is slotted in your rotation. And then when it comes to Aaron Loop, um, he, for his entire MLB career, last year he obviously went off at a .95 ERA, but has a 3.05 ERA and has been a very steady pitcher. He's only had two off seasons with a, cause the other, with a 5 point, or 4.54 ERA in 2018, and then in um, where's that? 2016, he had a 5.02 ERA. Otherwise, in his entire career, and then a 4.46 also in 2015. But otherwise, in his career, he always had it in the twos or the threes. And then, of course, in 2020, he was also good in the shortened season with the Rays with a 2.52, and then just went ballistic with the Mets last season with a .95 ERA in 65 games, but he's been a nice steady Eddie reliever to that 3.05 ERA, only really three off seasons in his career, one of the better steady lefties out there, Southpaw's throwing and giving you an odd angle and being able to be a good steady strike thrower that can get people out and has to have a good defense behind him, but of course, that is something that the Angels typically have. Sometimes they don't have enough good hitting and contact hitting, but defense typically is not too shabby by the LA Angels. So if they can continue to get their defense to be better and uptick, then that will be good for a guy like Aaron Loop. But you added Loop, you added Scherzer, and now you add somebody today in Michael Lorenzen for one year, $7 million, coming off of an offseason with a 5.59 ERA last year. But as a career, 4.07. Uh, ERA there and can start some games for you. He hasn't started that much recently, but really is a reliever at this point, but also has, of course, batted for the Reds in the past. We've seen highlights of his home runs. Maybe he can be a DH pinch hitter for you guys as well. Obviously, he has the great Shohei Otani to mentor him in that capacity of a two-way guy. Maybe he gets more at-bats in Angel Nation. Who knows? But he also is a chance to be a very good reliever, having a 3.11 ERA in 18 and a 2.92 in 19. Relief pitching is so roller coastery. He then went to a 4.28 in only 18 games in the short of season 2020 and then was really off this year. I feel like he's a guy only uh, 29 years old now. You can kind of get him going again. If he gets going, just like Alex Cobb got going out of the rotation last year for them, Thor is able to come back and pitch even like a uh, 
80% version of what he used to be. That's a very good starter that you got with the Angels. And then, of course, Aaron Luke has been one of the most steady Eddie relievers from the left side in the game and coming off of his best absolutely electric season. And prior to that, a very solid season as well in Tampa Bay. So this has been a video on the Angels finally rising up with Artie Marino and Perry out there being able to spend the money finally on some pitching, which is what they needed all along for a while. They've always had a solid enough lineup to a very solid lineup that was able to get enough runs most of the time. It was just you always blew it in the pen, or you always blew it by not having a guy that could go deep enough, so you had to use your off-pen pieces that haven't been consistent since the starter didn't go deep enough. So obviously getting Thor, and then obviously getting two good pen pieces in Lorenzen, and Luke is going to help with that, but I still feel like the Angels shouldn't be done bringing back Cobb, making other moves. That's something that should happen with the LA Angels. If you're the LA Angels, you still need more pitching, but this is a very good start. If you are the LA Angels, that is for darn sure, as I would give them on these pitching grades. They also added a very good depth piece in Tyler Wade, but I would give them on these pitching grades definitely an A this far, but you got to keep adding to the pitching rotation, bullpen, and starting rotation in order to keep earning that A grade. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Congratulations, Angels fans, on the great pickups this far.